Amendment 3 concerns unemployment compensation. It's estimated that in the first six months of this year, 1.3 million Americans will exhaust their benefits. The number of long-term unemployed Americans is almost twice as high now as it was in the last recession. This is targeted at the long-term unemployed wherever they live. The Republican approach, Mr. Weller's approach, the President's opposition, it's not targeted. It misses tens of thousands of people who are unemployed for more than the 26 weeks. I come from Michigan with a high unemployment level. I want all the unemployed long-term to be covered wherever they live. I think it's time that the minority and the president get out of the offices they reside in and get into the shoes of typical American families. And I read a letter that came from a person in Roseville whose husband had lost his job as a machinist. And I quote, with the job market as bleak as it is today, the fear that unemployment benefits may run out is something no family should have to face. My husband has been actively seeking work since his layoff, but there's simply nothing to be had right now. I've never seen him so sad, look so sad and upset in all of our nearly 30 years of marriage. The President and Congress must be made to understand that what is happening to the workers of this country, and most especially to the people of Michigan, is not something they've chosen for themselves. Opposition to extension of unemployment compensation is unconscionable. I urge support for Amendment 3. Gentlemen, time has expired.